What's going on, guys? Um, today, um, I want to take you guys through a short and simple circuit um, you can do for hip mobility. Um, and, and the reason I want to make it short today is because I want this to be something that you can follow along with, uh, whether it's maybe um, on your break at work, uh, if you work from home, right, if you have like a 30 minute to an hour gap. Um, so I want to keep it within like 10 minutes. Um, it's going to be very short, very straight to the point, very simple. Um, but I definitely feel like this will be super helpful, especially for people that do have those at home jobs and are sitting pretty much all day. Uh, the emphasis of today is going to be hip mobility. So um, let's get started. So that way you guys can get, get rocking. Okay. So as always, we're going to start with hip cars uh, just to kind of loosen everything up in uh, that hip joint. So we're going to go lying. Um, I really prefer lying for the most part uh, because um, when you're laying down and your body is firm here, there's a lot less likely for you to like rotate out for your hip, right? So it's, we're gonna go lie in position on one side. You're gonna start with a hip car, bracing that stomach, bracing core, everything tight, radiate. Knee comes up, goes wide, nice and slow. These first ones will probably be nice and stiff. Back and down. And now opposite way and back. And rotate and back down and up wide internally rotate down and back and externally rotate the hip. Now remember. Nice and slow. Take your time. There's no rush. This is going to be our last one right here, and then we'll switch legs. And then go back. Rotate. And switching sides. Switching like ninjas, buttery ninjas, as Beard would say. All right, so going to the next one, same thing. Bottom leg, straight, core, tight, everything braced, and irradiate. And we're going to go up, back. I do believe I started the opposite way with the other leg, but it's okay because... Both ways are going to get done. And out. Now, my left hip is always significantly tighter than my right hip. Um, you guys may have the same thing where, like, one of them is just tight. You can take a little bit more time with that one and really explore the range of motion of it. A lot slower and more control. You can even do more sets, more reps. <laughs> Remember, there's no rush, man. The point is just to make your body feel better. It doesn't have to have the, the exact amount of reps or a certain amount of time. <sighs> Ooh, this one's tight, son. Last rep. And up. All right. 
Now, we are going to go into our 90-90 position. Now, biggest thing with this, okay? Some of you guys may have yoga blocks, some of you may not. But um, if there is tightness in your hips, you'll need this um, just to keep your hip in alignment when you are in this position. So my hips, as Shakira used to say, don't lie, uh, my hips are really tight. They always have been. Uh, I've been working on them, uh, but definitely still got a long way to go. So you want to sit up on the yoga block like this, okay? Now, it's okay if this front leg is elevated for this movement we're going to do, okay, like this. All that matters is that my hip, I'm not like compensating like this, right, to the side. I'm in straight alignment, being able to sit forward, right, in this position. So, on this one, we're going to work through two different things. We're going to work through internal rotation in external rotation, okay? So, for the first one, which we're gonna go external first, no, we're gonna go internal first. I want you to lean forward, okay? And find a good space, like a good area, where you're able to lift this back foot off the ground, right? So, we're gonna go five reps going internal rotation and then I'll show you guys what we're going to do for external rotation ready so going forward okay everything tight irradiate everything nice and in, in, in try embraced okay and go hold it three two one down and up three two one down and three, two, one down. You're gonna feel this right up here on top of the hip. Okay, two more. I might have fudged that up the counting. Up three, two, one, and last one. Up ten seconds, ten, nine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! Okay, that hurt. Okay, so for external rotation, okay, what I want you to do is we're going to phase this way towards the knee, and what you're going to do is you're going to put your hand on this knee like this, okay? Other one can come here. You're gonna try to lift your knee off the ground like this, right? But at the same time, you're gonna drive down, okay? And all you're trying to do is you're trying to, you're literally stopping your leg from actually coming up into external rotation. Um, so, just like this, okay? Ready? And everything tight, you radiate. Holding the leg down and one, two, three, relax. See, I just try to externally rotate, but I, I used my hand to stop it. What we're doing is we're strengthening everything around the glute area, right? That's pretty much the glute's job is to externally rotate uh, your hips and your knees. So, um, again, we're gonna go five reps and go and three. Two, one, relax, and three, two, one, and two, one. Okay, last one, we're gonna go for 10 seconds because I'm sick, and go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Okay. Ooh. That felt real nice. And now, while we're in this position, we are going to 
Actually, no, let's switch. Let's switch a root buckaroos. I forgot that I was trying to make this about 10 minutes. Get fucking lost in the sauce over here. forward and there we go in position now as I said my left hip this side is a lot tighter than this side and as you can tell um, I'm slightly tilted right so I really have to make a conscious effort to um, do an interior pelvic tilt to kind of put myself in a position without compensating to the side all right, so same thing going forward. We're going to go internal rotation, external rotation. So forward, everything tight. You radiate. Ready? And five reps. And up. Oh, you guys can't see this. I'm sorry. But you guys know already. Lift your heel off the floor. Okay? And up. Two. One. And up. Three. Two. One, uh, two more, and three, two, one, last one, and 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ah, fudge, okay, now we're going to go into external, Heisman, remember everything else tight, okay, and going up and three, two, one, and up three, two, one, three, two, one. Ah, okay, two more. Three, two, one. Okay, last one, ten seconds, and go. Nine. Three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was real nice. That was real nice. Okay. Last thing we're doing, okay. We are just going to do 90 90s. So, going forward like this. Okay, heels on the ground. We're only going to do about five reps, meaning five to each side. So core tight, chest up, okay? Driving those hips down as low as you can. And if that's as far as you can go, that's okay, right? Really try to push it without letting the rest of your body compensate. I still want yourself full facing forward, right? So same thing with the other side. And boom. You see how much more... I can move going this way compared to this way. Oof. That's okay though. We're working on it. And try to drive it down a little bit lower every time. See, that's loosening up without compensating. My bad. One, both both sides, and last one. Whoo! All right. So just a few movements. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, I wanted to keep today's video short so you can do it on your break or whatever. Um. Short, simple, and straight to the point. Um, anyways, I hope today was helpful, guys. And always remember, we're stronger together.